For new teachers and veteran teachers alike, setting up your classroom can be one of the most awesome or stressful experiences of your entire school year. In today's teaching tip video, I just wanna share a quick tip with you on how to start thinking about setting up your classroom coming up. I believe that there are three key components to a well set up classroom. Your classroom should be organized, functional, and clean. Those are the three pillars to having a well set up classroom. Now I know with the evolution of Pinterest and Instagram and all the, these wonderful social media sites, there can be a lot of pressure to have a beautiful, pristine, there's no white space on the, on the walls, just gorgeous themed out classroom. And let me be the first person to tell you right here, right now, that if that's not your thing, if you're stressing about that, if you're, if you're just trying to be like somebody else or trying to do it that way, but that's not your thing, don't. Stop right now. Your classroom needs to be clean, functional, and organized. That is it. Because you know who doesn't really care about all that pretty stuff in your classroom? Your kids. They're not gonna care. Now, they may like a certain theme of the classroom. They're gonna like it if it's organized. They're gonna feel safe. If it's functional, they know what each space of the classroom is used for. They're gonna feel safe. That's gonna be conducive for learning. And if the classroom is clean and there's not stuff skewing about everywhere and boxes everywhere, they're, gonna, they're just gonna feel a good vibe, a good vibe from the classroom. It's okay to have white space on your walls. I have a better idea than, than decorating the entire thing yourself. Why don't you decorate your classroom with student work samples, student artwork, things that you do together with you and your students to develop that sense of community. Your classroom should not be completely full and it should not be completely decorated to the max on the first day of school. Leave some space for student input. Now on the flip side of things, I don't wanna discourage you. If you are the type of person that is super into decorating your classroom and you want it to be pristine and you want everything to be themed out, Pinterest worthy. You like you want to share everything on Pinterest and Instagram and if that's your thing and you love decorating and if you want to spend hours and hours and days and days in your classroom, if that's your thing, have at it. Go nuts. I know a lot of teachers that are like that. And if that's your thing, I'm who am I to say don't do it? If that's one of your hobbies, your passions, go ahead. Go nuts. If that's your artsy creative outlet, that's fine. But I feel like there's a lot of people out there, a lot of a lot of new teachers out there feel pressure to make it like that if that's not their thing. I know I did my first year. I was so worried because my classroom was kind of bare. I had my superhero themed classroom. I had some curtains that were superheroes. I had some stickers about. I had a couple posters. But I realized that that was plenty. It didn't need to be full because it was clean, it was organized, and it was functional. As you are thinking about how you're gonna set up your classroom this summer, just keep those three things in mind. Organized, functional, and clean, and don't stress out about making your classroom perfect. To recap, it's okay to have white on your walls. It's okay to fill it with student work. It's okay to not have your classroom be perfectly done on the first day of school. Leave yourself some room to, ad to adapt, to change, to include student interests in your classroom. It's okay, but again, if you are that type of person that loves doing that, loves, loves, loves organizing and art and making things pretty and doing it that way, do it. But make sure that you still leave some space for student input because they're gonna want their voice to be heard and they're gonna want they're gonna want their stuff on the walls. They're gonna wanna, they're going to want to celebrate their successes and when you put student work on the walls and their artwork on the walls, it makes them feel like they're part of the community. I will go into greater detail when I actually can get in my classroom at the end of summer. I'll show you how to, I, I'll actually show you how I organize my own room and that video will be coming up later on in the summer. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet already, please subscribe to the channel for daily uploads. You'll never miss anything. Turn on the notifications, become part of my community. It's a great community to be part of. As always, make it a great day, teachers, and see you next time.